BBC Radio 2 star Owain Wynne Evans sparked concern after going missing from this morning's early breakfast show. Owain Wynne Evans usually greets listeners from the crack of dawn. Starting on the early breakfast show from 4 a.m. every weekday since replacing Vanessa Feltz last year. Listeners had begun to look forward to beginning the morning with his familiar and distinctive voice. But this morning there was nothing but silence from the man himself. Some took to Twitter to voice their concern. Pointing out that he hasn't been heard since Friday and that no explanation has been issued for his sudden absence. What's occurring at at BBC Radio 2? Supposed to be Owain yet all we are getting is continuous music and a radio silence from the main man himself. One follower complained. Another complained. No Owain this morning, just constant music. Hope he's okay. It seems that the star, who previously starred on BBC Breakfast and is also a regular fixture on the one show. is sorely missed by some of his loyal fanbase. He previously addressed how well loved he is among fans when he told the iPaper about the real connection and community spirit surrounding him. The star, who describes himself as unapologetically flamboyant in his Twitter profile, has not posted to social media at all since Saturday, leaving his disappearance from radio to a mystery. Meanwhile, Owain has appeared on the BBC show in the past, joining Jackie Joseph on its special 20th anniversary show last Christmas. A source published in The Mirror explained, Bosses wanted a makeover to keep younger viewers interested. They have been keen to get Owain onto one of their popular shows for a while. He will add a new dynamic. The source added that the upcoming series will feature both Tommy and Owain as there is a three-month lag with the house makeovers so there is some crossover. However, it is not known whether his absence from Radio 2 is due to filming commitments, or another unrelated issue. Meanwhile, Owain, who has been happily married to husband Aaron Reese for almost seven years, also shared struggles with how some have perceived his sexuality.